And you may understand it or you may not, but I'm just gonna put it in very simple terms. And the second leg of the well tripod is equity buildup. Now, equity, all equity means, this is what equity is. Equity is money that's stored in an investment. So think about it like this. This is how most of us are familiar with equity. Uh, you buy a house, let's say you buy a house for $100,000. You put $20,000 down, you get an 80% loan. So you have a loan for $80,000. That means you have $20,000 stored in your house as equity. So it's your money. It's just not cash. It's stored in your investment. Now, equity sounds sometimes we can have this uh, love-hate relationship with it, right? Because if, maybe if you're struggling to buy a house right now, you're trying to figure out how do I get this money to put down as equity so that I can get a loan so that I can have a house, right? And it feels like it ties up your money and it ties up your cash flow. And that's kind of true. However, equity buildup can really help accelerate the growth of your net worth. And let's talk a little bit about how that works. So we're mostly familiar with using our cash flow to build equity. And the way that that happens in real life for the majority of us that do this is we buy a house, we have cash flow coming in from our nine to five job, and we use that cash flow to pay our loans down, which pays interest and a little bit of the principal of our house, which basically is storing more and more money in our investment right? So we're used to having cash flow pay to build equity. And that's not ideal because what's king? Not equity. Cash flow is king. Now, if you can find businesses or investments where you can build the equity a little bit faster, then it, the equation reverses on itself all of a sudden. You can take your equity and convert it into cash flow instead of taking your cash flow and turning it into equity. Let me give you a very simple example from real estate because again, most of us are mostly familiar with real estate. So let's say you have an investment property, you own it, it's $100,000 uh, is what it's worth and you only owe $50,000 on it. So you have $50,000 of equity or money that's stored in that property, awesome except for you can't really do anything with it because it's just stored in that property. So what you decide to do is, is go to the bank and say, hey, I have this property, it's worth $100,000. I only owe $50,000. Can I get some money out of that and refinance it? This is called a cash out refinance. So the bank says, sure, we'll make sure it's worth $100,000. Okay, it checks out. Uh, we will give you 80% of that. So they're gonna give you $80,000, but you only owe $50,000. So what you do is you take $50,000 out of your $80,000, pay off your loan, and now you have $30,000 of cash. Cash is awesome, but cash is not king. Cash flow is king. So what you can do is take that $30,000 that you got from your house and put it into an investment that creates cash flow like a laundromat or another real estate property or another business that you wanna to try to start or stocks that pay a dividend or whatever it is that you wanna invest in, right? So you can take that $30,000 and for example, uh, go find a, another house investment property that's worth $120,000. You put your 20% down, which is your $30,000 and now you can cash flow a couple hundred bucks a month. So now you have two properties and they're both cash flowing and you did that by converting your equity to cash flow. Okay, but something else happened in that example that I didn't even mention that is a really powerful tool of equity is that when you took your loan out for $80,000 and paid off your $50,000 loan and took $30,000 of cash, you did that tax free. So that's $30,000 that you just got access to tax free to use in another investment. And it's tax-free because it's a loan. It's not your money.